see little Cadbury, ladies and gentlemen, probably a bit of wind blowing over the mic, and there we can see the black rabbit against the lavender hedge. And this black rabbit belongs to someone up the street, not very far up the street, and they appear to let it out every day. Of course, probably highly illegal, the rabbits being the, uh, <laughs> and look at Cadbury. Rabbits being uh, vermin in Australia, declared a noxious pest, probably a noxious pest under the some legislation. Now, if the rabbit was sterilised, it would be a, uh, an academic offence, I suppose. So if it's sterilised, there's no threat to uh, breeding and running wild, but... Um, yeah, I don't know what the law says, not that I've ever reported or whatever, but uh, yeah, it's not a, not a, not something we encourage just letting, yeah, it's going back, it goes past this house and goes up at least to the next, though, so it's either the next person's house, go on, two houses up, and I know the people, or it's, uh, <laughs> oh, well, or it's further up, wow, little girl, what a, what an African cheetah you are! The cheetahs do this? I think they do. Tail hanging down. What a lovely sight. Cadbury of the Bottle Brush. A lovely new name for you darling, Cadbury of the Bottle Brush. Gee, what an athlete. And that's why I, uh, I have remarked in the past about a certain San Francisco Mammy Pammy Nancy cat uh, called Arno, who uh, can jump the neighbour's fence when he's let out and um, eat their flowers. But our little girl can uh, jump the neighbour's fence and rip the guts out of rats, mice, <laughs> climb trees, <laughs> leap around, jump up onto the roof, jump down from the roof in a single bound. I think Arnu had to be rescued from the roof in, uh, yeah, I won't let you, you won't be able to hide in that for much longer, Cabby, because I'm cutting that down with a sickle today, but then in a few weeks' time it'll be just as high again. And I'll use that lovely kaikui grass as mulch for some bamboo up the back. So, uh, um, that was a bit of athleticism, if ever there was, Cabby. You could be in the feline Olympics. You'd win gold in every, in every event, I have no doubt. You'd win gold in every event, my darling. Yes. So you did sort of do a little bit of uh, stalking for a moment of that rabbit, because that's the wiring, the instinct that kicks in. You can eat some grass, are you, darling? Yeah, are you? Maybe you are. <laughs> what a lovely jump. What a lovely jump for a little athlete. Okay. Well, I think it's probably you telling me you had enough of me at the moment, darling, have you? I know that's hard to believe. Lovely, benign pop lip and wire, the, the um, human that Cabri loved. <laughs> the human who Cabri loved. So, what are we doing? Fortunately, I've cut all the, the lower, and probably missed some lower uh, spine. In fact, we can see one I missed spines off the yucca. So the yucca is nowhere near as deadly as it was. But having said that, look at that. There's a spine I've missed at some stage. Yes, what a nasty piece of work that plant is, Cadbury. Yes, I better, I better work on that. Ah, yeah, you be careful, darling. I'll get the sickle. I haven't got the secretaries out. No, no, be careful. I'll get the sickle. Okay, my darling. There's the few little mother-in-law tongues. Sorry, mother-in-laws all throughout the world. Mother-in-law tongues that I've put there as a few extras from the main bed out the front of the house uh, under the carport okay darling I love you Cadbury true love is never wrong <laughs>